Well, hello and welcome to the box seat, another big program of racing at Ascot this Saturday. We've got eight big events. The feature event is the Sweps Melvista Stakes. The feature sponsors are Sweps as well as Amelia Park. And joining me to find all the winners, a very warm welcome to Joshy Rodda. Josh, welcome to you. Hello, Matt, and hello to everyone in PR.com land. It's great to be back on the show with our chief, Marty Young, over on the East Coast enjoying a round of Aussie rules football. Well, I'll tell you what, Joshy, I think the punters out there will be happy to have you back on because Marty's been despicable, let's be fair. He tipped one winner last week, and prior to that, he'd been battling, finding a lot of short price favourites like all the punters can, and uh, it's quite ordinary, Josh. So I've got a theory behind it. I just think he's trying too hard. You know, ratings yeah. and... Uh, he's quite an astute punter on his day, and I think if he just uh, clears the picture a little bit, I think Marty Young will be back on track after a freshen up in Melbourne. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to put it down. I think he's, uh, it's a bit like his dog, the pug. I think they both need a spell, and they're currently Life having one. Belmont. So hopefully when he comes back, he'll be uh, right back to his best, Joshy. Having a quick look at the tips tally, um, I was lucky enough to find four last week. Um, you needed them? I did need them. I've got myself back up to where I'd like to be. Um, you're tipping at 32.5%. I'm at around the 30 31, 32%. Marty's uh, just lacking behind the 28%. So good luck to you, Marty. Um, hopefully we'll be putting a set in this week and finding a few winners for the punters out there and um, getting your percentage back up. Righto, weather track and rail for Saturday. We're expecting a partly cloudy day with a top of 24 degrees. The trail is in the six metre position. The track going is a good three and the penetrometer 6.2. So all in all, a good day of racing action ahead of us at Ascot this Saturday with some competitive lineups. the order of the day. Let's get straight into the meeting now. Race number one on the program is the Amelia Park Lamb Handicap over the 1400 metre journey. Only a field of six to face the starter. We're going to go back. This is the Miss Andretti Stakes and have a look at Shock Value who finishes in third place. Track the speed throughout. Keep your eye on Estiarte who works home powerfully and Comic Hero finishes in eighth position. On the outside headed by Revolution and Escadere. Escadere loomed up to Revolution behind them. Shock Value London can't go on. It's Escadere Revolution with Escadere getting his head in front, gaining the upper hand and Escadere will win it. Escadere home in the Miss Andretti. From... It was an exciting race, Matt. The Miss Andretti last Saturday with Escadere finishing too well for his rivals. The run of Shock Value was solid. He travelled strong there in the box seat. The blinkers come off on Saturday up to 1,400 metres. He's going to get that cheap run again. But in my mind, that last little bit's going to be a test. Uh, Stratozoa had no luck, was wide, hung off the corner. He needs to find the rail. And I'm sure Talia Moore will be doing everything she can to find the top. Comic Hero, he's very good at his fourth run back. He's had the three runs back in from a spell. Up to 1,400 metres. He was drifting back in the field the other day and with a tongue tie on, I think he'd be more positive, William Pike. Yep. He's going to run an extremely good race. And for Estiarte, he's my top pick, Matt. This horse has come back in top form, career best form. Oh, yeah. He is flying, and I thought his effort there in a high-class listed sprint, his first test at that level, he passed with flying colours. And up to 1,400 metres, barrier three, the Fish and Lulu Ciani combining, I think he's clearly the horse to beat. All right, Josh, let's quickly talk about the dynamics of this race. There's only the field of six. Comic Hero, I know the other day he said 11th, 10th, 10th. Uh, from barrier one up to the 14, he does look the horse that will just roll forward and possibly lead. Well, from barrier 10 the other day, he began. He was one of the first to begin in the Miss Andretti, and yep. Peter Nucky allowed him to roll back in the field. From barrier one, he's going to try and lead, mm -hmm. and I think Tali Mawal will rev up on Stratozoa. Stratozoa come across. Probably try and test. Yep. Can't and probably come back. I think they'll go genuine despite the six runners, and this will give a horse like Estiade his chance to stalk. And I think he should be able to keep shock value back on his inside, Estiade. Okay, so from all that, Joshy, I dare say you're TV number four, Estiade. Yeah, quite confident about his chances. Oh. I think shock value will look the winner. Yeah, well, that's the way I'm going. I'm sticking with number five, shock value. Um, hasn't had a great deal of luck from barrier two up to the 14. Has to be a question mark. If he gets any luck with the blinkers off, he'll relax. Hard to run down. Race one, number five for me, Joshy, with race one. Horse four, Estiate. Let's move on to race number two on the program. This is the Amelia Park Wines Plate over the 1,200 metre journey. This is for the two-year-olds. We've got two replays to have a look at. We're going to go back. This was back on the 27th of March, or Tessa. Perfectly ridden by that genius Sean O'Donnell. Just Wines behind the speed. Gets all Tessa to the outside, and she really let down well. Keep your eye on Lazetta, who finishes second. And we also have Soonest and Princess Vivian, who finish in midfield positions. Street and magnificent pair on the outside, or Tessa. Or Tessa takes the lead now from Lazetta. Or Tessa pulls clear. His flashy filly, or Tessa, had the blinkers off. You could really see that white blaze 
down the front of her face there, or Tessa. She was perfectly ridden by Sean O'Donnell, settling in the 1-1. One, one. Had the camp on the setter and finished a little bit too well. She did strip fitter from a run at Pinjarra, Matt, and she was peaking the other day. Lissetta, I thought the effort was very, very good. Had to do some work to be outside the leader. There was that headwind they were running into down the side, and she did all the bullocking for Tessa. And at her first start at the 1,000 metres, I thought she battled on really well. Second up, 1,200 metres, I think she gets a soft lead. And I think Lissetta, with the two kilo weight turnaround, can turn the tables on Ortessa. Uh, other horses in the race, Soonest. I liked him in that race. He travelled well in a beautiful trailing spot. And I think he could have finished the race off a little bit better than he did. I'd still think he's a work in progress and he might be looking for 1,400 metres. And Princess Vivian wasn't suited 12 back to the 1,000. Like the run, back out to 12, she can definitely fill a placing. But very keen on Lissetta. I think she's one of the better bets on the program. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. She's a full sister to Incoherent, trained by Michael Lane, who does have plenty of ability, and Lissetta looks to have plenty of ability also. I don't uh, think, I think soon as number seven. He could be the improved horse. He, he um, trialled well on the 22nd of March, then was on the quick five-day back up to his race debut. Um, has now had a, a good two weeks between runs, and I think um, Soonest could be the horse that does improve. Uh, looks a nice type. Well, I think they're the four, the four that ran in that race. I think yep. that's the strongest form line, and uh, I think those four will fight it out. I have gone 9, 1, 14, and 7, but wouldn't be surprised if either and any of them win with the right run. Okay, Josh, let's have a quick look at Friday's Girl. This is the horse that has only had the one start for one win. This was that Pinjara up the straight on the 31st of March. She was coming off only a 400-metre trial. Lou Luciani and Jason White in combined. I thought she was pretty dominant in the run to the line. I'm a sitting pretty trying to peg it back. Friday's girl is running on well now. It's Friday's girl. I'm a sitting pretty coming away. They're going to fight the race out. I'm a sitting pretty Friday's girl, but Friday's girl gains the upper hand and it's Friday's girl. A very tidy debut win there from Friday's girl, this daughter of footsteps in the sand. This is actually a half sister to stable mate Campo Bello, who goes around later in the day in the Mel Vista Stakes. Friday's girl got back, was allowed to balance up by Jason Whiting. And is he, isn't he fantastic with these young horses, being allowed them, teaching them a little bit, allowing them to balance up? He's a relaxed jockey. And this horse really found the line for Jason Whiting. It's another step up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the form line's strong enough. I'm sitting pretty, had the beautiful trail at every possible chance. And I think she, she might just struggle at the 1,200 at this stage yeah. of her career. And Lightning Sky, number 15, showed speed but weakened over the final stages. Definitely Friday's Girl is the one to follow from that race, but I do believe that the Ascot race on March 27th is superior. Yeah, I do agree, but I thought it was a very good effort on debut by Footste uh, Friday's Girl, who is the daughter of Footsteps in the Sand, up the straight for the first time. Um, very good effort. Draw well to get the run of the race. She certainly will be in there with undeniable claims. Selections, Joshy, I think we're a green here, both with race two, horse nine, Lizetta. I'm keen to play number nine, Lizetta, and have a little bet on her. I think she'll find the top. She's a natural, gifted, running two-year-old, and she's going to be the one they have to run down. Well, Tessa, she'll loom soonest. Princess Vivian come out of that same race. I think they'll be thereabouts. And number six, Painted, did absolutely everything wrong for Paul Harvey last Saturday. Its trials were okay, and barrier one for William Pike. If it's learnt anything from last Saturday, it might be able to improve into a placing at big, big odds. All right, he's a nice big son of trade fair. Drawn ideally in gate one, could be the improver. But we're race two, number nine, Lizetta.